All right. So the first colors we're going to use, or the colors of the sky and the sea, are going to be cerulean blue, phthalo blue, could be green shade or red shade, doesn't matter, cadmium yellow medium, and white. So we're going to start with cerulean and white, soft color for the sky. And the the uh, canvas is primed in um, what is it primed in? Burnt sienna. Thank you. <laughs> today, the assistant today. Today is uh, really a very strange day. <laughs> That's just because I don't have I didn't have internet for like half an hour. This is gonna need another layer. I'm gonna push my sky color into the trees because I can push the trees out after when I'm painting the trees. So I'm painting the sky top. I'm going to be a light, light blue. I think that's what makes this uh, reference or painting interesting is just because the main subject is surrounded by sky and sea. Okay, the more I go down to the horizon, I'm gonna add a bit more blue in there. So a little bit darker at the horizon. do the same on the other side and I'm going to pause recording for a minute.
this sky needs another layer. All right, for the C part, <laughs> I'm mixing, this is the uh, halo blue, and I'm putting a bit of yellow in it. So now I can't tell, because I want the first layer or the layer that's next to the C to be more on the blue side. So I'm going to push more of the halo blue out, and I still cannot tell. The only way for me to see the color is to use white. And that's when I can see the color. I can see if the color is leaning more towards yellow or blue. Uh, and this is a color that is more on the blue side. Although it does have green in it, uh, uh, yellow in it, but it's still on the blue side. It has a touch, a hint of yellow. You can see a hint. Um, but we, we want to see more blue. So I'm going to still push, take in some blue, halo blue, white. Bec the only reason I'm doing this is just because we have cerulean blue and white here. So I don't want to start with green in here, like a turquoise green in here. So I'll start with the light turquoise blue, and then I will move into a bit more green. So let's take more white because it's gonna dry darker. Although, I mean, Drying darker is not a bad thing here because we can have some more layers on top. Yeah, that's a good color. I might have to switch to smaller brush soon. You get if you take a bit of white at this point on your brush and then go in, that gives it some movement. Now what I'm doing is I am actually, here, I'm gonna push this out pushing a bit down on my on my brush in certain areas to release a different blue in here because my brush is not or the color the paint is not completely 100% mixed i left a bit of uh, the color the, the both colors, like the white and the blue in here. Um, didn't want to mix them 100%. I'm going to go here, right there. Turn my brush around. Because I loaded the brush with a lot of paint. And I'm just going to go in. Now, I'm going to take more white at this point, put it in, take some yellow, change my color into a very light, beautiful sea color, sea foam, and come in here. And you see, look at this. This is really nice. Yellow, white. 
in yellow, white, in the blue. In the blue I was using for the C. And I'm going to come here. Again, pulling in some white, because the color of the sea right now that I'm I am I am painting is wet. The paint is wet, so when I put white, it the the color underneath, which is wet, absorbs that white. The the lighter color, it just takes it in. And the closer to the bottom we get, we want more of the sea foam and white. All of this is going to dry darker. Now I'm, I was doing this, Oops. pushing in, and now I'm turning my brush around with the, with the corner of my brush. We can put a bit of detail later on, a bit of waves, whatever we want. Um, but this is just the first layer. Or just leave it just the way, just the way it is if we like it. So the sky is dry, I think. So now I'm going to take again cerulean. You want? Actually, I'm going to stop for a minute. All right, back to the sky. I'm going to be using cerulean again and white, but I'm going to take a bit of phthalo blue, put it in, put take in some more white. Soft brush strokes. I'm not pushing in my uh, my brush. Really soft. And I'm just going to come here, push this in, pull it, the color down, and leave at that point, leave this part. Take some white and blue and before the, the, I have to do this because I don't want the, the the color to dry or the paint to dry but I want to add a bit of soft clouds in there eventually let's put this first that's perfect
I'm going to take some white, more white into the blue. Come here. And with the corner of my brush, just add a couple of very soft, soft clouds. And I can also, when I'm doing this, I can always go back and soften this with some blue, light blue if I want. But because the color is wet right now, it's working out very well. So now I'm going to take some more blue, white. So I'm infusing my color with a bit of the um, Thilo Blue. Go across. Colors will, uh, paint will cooperate if it's wet. It's not wet, wet. It's just not dry. So if I need to dry, uh, wet my paint, I, I dip the tip of my brush in water. So I don't get too much water, but I get enough to be able to manipulate the color easily. That's good. That's a good color. That's like a combination of the sky color and the sea. Now, see, let's go to this side. And we're gonna, this side is um, on mine, um, is smaller on my canvas. Um, not worried about the trees, trees are gonna go over, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to change my brush into a smaller one. Try to take a little bit more of the um, thalo blue with white and soften this. Because acrylic dries darker, so you always have to Soften the uh, transition and here at this point I can pick up some white. The 
corner of my brush, add a bit of movement. Let's do the same on this side. So I can see I need to wet my brush a bit. And I'm going to go back and add another layer here down at the bottom for the C. Fix yellow, blue, yellow. I'm taking a lot of yellow, blue, and yellow, and white. Some, some, a bit more of the yellow, blue at this point with my white, quite a bit of white. And I can adjust the color. I can adjust and see if this is, do I want it this blue or more yellow? But at this point I can see the I'd, I'd like to keep it some with more blue. All right, let's try. No matter, it doesn't matter what I'm getting because whatever I get, it's just another layer of C, so it's fine. This layer has a little bit more yellow in it. It's good. I like it. I take more white. The further I go down, the more white I'm going to be putting in here. Oh, that's great. Yes. Because it's going to dry darker. I'm not cleaning it on purpose. I'm not cleaning my brush, see? My brush is, has different colors on it. Maybe it's too much color. The layer underneath is good, um, gives me some some uh, depth.
switch back and forth between this position of the brush this way and then sometimes I go in with the corner and then just go spread the color. There's a good movement in here. All right, just gonna switch bit with the smaller brush now. Because the smaller brush will give me um, movement, um, texture, big brush will make everything flat. It will blend the colors a, a lot more with big brush. This one. And some white go in. And I'm using the corner of my brush. Let's put some highlights in here. I'm trying to keep some darks around the island itself. Um, I will be refining all this soon. This water is moving, so you don't see a reflection of anything in there. But you see some darks around where those tones are, where the, the uh, rocks are. And when I was doing the, um, the the sketch, I went back. I went. I remember. I went back and I added dark green all around those rocks, um, just to give it some depth or some anchoring. I was one trying to anchor the rocks. All right, this is good. A little bit more white. That's for the movement of the waves in the back. And same here. A little bit right here.
I think I'm good. Right, in the, uh, the reference, there's no boat, but we're adding one here. So I'm going to take white, yellow, blue, get that beautiful sea foam color, and just come here and then. This is different than, this water is moving, it's not still. So you get more of the wavy kind of, not wave, but you know, you know how the water hits, it hits uh, when it hits the um, rock, it has a bit of white around it. Okay, so. And see kind of the dark is closer to the rock. So what I'm gonna do is try to highlight this side a bit. And while I'm highlighting, I'm going to go down a bit slowly, and then I'll increase the amount of blue and white in here. So it, it mixes nice, nice mixture with the, uh, with the rest of the sea at the bottom. Hey, let's do, I'm going to try to do this part. Although I like this uh, the way it is, but hey, let's have fun. Introducing a bit more yellow, but it's uh, still a light color.
if you get to a point where you like what you're doing, don't mess with it. Right. <laughs> you know, you like the you like the effect that you got, don't mess with it. Don't get tempted. <laughs> Let's do the waves in the back. So I'm taking white, just white, on a small brush. And the brush is a filbert, um, sorry, bright or flat. And I pick up white. I'm just going to come here and just create a movement of waves, small ones. Same here, maybe a little bit here, just a movement of water. Dab. I'm gonna do the same in the back on the other side. Now this is kind of dry. Same here, little ones, little one right there, kind of dabbing with the dry brush. Gives the water a uh, move, nice movement. Again, small brush. I'm just gonna go in and do. Wet my brush a bit with water, pick up some color and white, light green or turquoise. I don't want to overdo it, although it's very tempting.
Right, enough. That's good. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to take some fiber paste and uh, apply some on the, the rocks. Take some of it with a brush. So you could use fiber paste, you can apply fiber paste with a brush or a knife. But in this case, it's a small painting and I really don't want something looking too uh, heavy or sharp. Just want a, a nice texture to the rocks without any uh, sharp edges. So I'm just going to take fiber paste, the brush, apply thin layer, doesn't have to be thick. Um, that will help when we're painting. I can this at this point when I start painting, I can just apply a dark color and brush on gently on top of that dark color, bright uh, light, uh, light colors, and it will look really beautiful. This can be applied twice, you know, two layers if we want, or one layer. Um, I think one layer is good. But that's up to you if you want more. But I think one layer would be good. And it also depends on, you know, when you're applying the first layer, if you're putting a strong, a thick kind of um, blobs of fiber paste or thin. If you're spreading it thin, maybe wait until it dries. It takes a long time to dry. It takes a couple of hours for it to dry. Um, and if you find that in certain areas you want some more, go for it. I like fiber paste because it's not too thick. Uh, it doesn't take over, but it gives you a nice texture. I don't want a thick, too thick of a layer. I'm just going to keep it like that. This is good enough. No need to go thicker. It's fun. Just a fun way of uh, getting texture. And it's not overwhelming. It doesn't take over. Now I'm going to take a thin layer on my brush and try to apply some on the steps. 
Should I go over it like that? No need to go for one by one. Oh, that's too much. You should be able to still see what's underneath. And if you find that you're creating a certain pattern, keep in mind that this is going to show when we put the color. So if you have a a line in the center or, or you know, if, if this uh, fiber paste is creating, you can see a certain pattern that, you know, it should be kind of general. It shouldn't have a, nothing like this or like that, because then this is going to show when we start putting, applying color. Let's take some of this. It's just too much. Now, I'm going to take with my finger, just kind of soften a bit. But you know, this is going to give you a really kind of a fun uh, texture for this. Rock. Okay, let it dry. And next week we'll add We'll work on the trees and the uh, rock. Okay, that should be, that looks quite messy, but it will look good once it's colored, painted. And that's it for this week.